Now, your first alert weather. Well, fortunately, we're far from the hurricane, but we are bringing in the smoke from the wildfires in California, and our air quality is still looking to be nasty here for tomorrow and for a good chunk of this work week. We got unhealthy conditions across eastern Idaho, and we kind of just uh, fluctuate between the orange and red category there on the map. Not a big difference, but we are going to be stuck with the smoke, and we have an air quality alert until further notice. This is by Idaho DEQ, and this puts the kibosh in any ag burning, so that is a burn ban for pretty much all of southern Idaho. Custer County, yeah, you're a little bit of an island right now because the air quality not as bad as the rest of us, but everybody's going to be stuck with poor air quality here for tomorrow, and we have an interesting combo. we got high pressure here to the south over Utah, a low pressure to the northwest, and with these two pressure systems working together, we're getting a strong southwesterly flow that takes us into 90-degree heat, so just like today, it was pretty warm out there getting to the 80s and 90s. We're going to do that again for tomorrow with an afternoon breeze more smoke coming in from California and we have that monsoonal energy the monsoon storms coming up here from Arizona and the Gulf of California that's all sliding in here to the Intermountain West and will be sliding in here as we get rolling into your Monday but more into your Tuesday Tuesday's actually looking to be a better day to see those scattered thunderstorms there's a look at the smoke plumes there on the big picture you get the smoke from the fires burning in California spreading around this ridge of high pressure and yeah you can just definitely trace out the upper level winds with that smoke pattern. As we go to Vipercast tonight, we got mostly cloudy conditions in that smoke and haze hanging with us here tomorrow morning as well. A few thunderstorms will pop in here for tomorrow afternoon, about three, four o'clock in the afternoon. Thunderstorms really targeting around the Wyoming state line. A few thunderstorms burning in tomorrow evening across the Snake River Plain. Tuesday, there's even a chance for some morning thunderstorms, especially in the upper valley, just to get the day started. Then we'll see more widespread thunderstorms coming in there for Tuesday afternoon. A Look at the wind speeds. Winds are going to be into the teens and 20s tomorrow afternoon. The winds will be a little bit breezy tonight and tomorrow morning, but then it'll be quite windy as we go about 3, 4 o'clock. And again, with the arrival of those thunderstorms, that could also play with those wind speeds. Highs tomorrow at 90 for Lava Hot Springs, 92 for Malad, and 91 in Preston with highs in Jackson into the upper 80s, along with Griggs in the upper 80s. We'll be in the upper 80s, low 90s around Rexburg and St. Anthony with highs at 93 for Sam and 84 for Stanley. 90 in Arco with Idaho Falls seeing a high tomorrow, 91, 89 in Rigby, 92 in Blackfoot, and 94, the expected high around Pocatello. Eight-day forecast. We'll start with Idaho Falls. Breezy conditions here for the next couple of days. Highs will be into the mid to upper 80s as we roll into your Tuesday and Wednesday. Notice the numbers are calming down or coming back down into more manageable levels. Not as hot outside, but we are expecting to see numbers here about 85 for next Saturday and the 70s by Sunday as some cooler air works works down from the northwest. That could also change up our wind pattern and start to push away some of the smoke. Hopefully Pocatello 92 for the high Tuesday with 90 on Wednesday will be in the upper 80s as we get through the rest of the work week with partly to mostly cloudy skies and temperatures dropping in through next week. Blackfoot a high of 89 for Tuesday, 88 on Wednesday. and We're to the mid 80s as we get to about Thursday again with the smoke filled sky. Some breezy conditions for the next couple of days an occasional thunderstorm with Tuesday again being the best chance to see thunderstorms and we may see those thunderstorms also Tuesday morning around Rexburg and St. Anthony with Rexburg registering highs into the mid 80s by Wednesday and we're into the 70s by Sunday. Central Idaho mountains around Salmon. We got highs here at 93 for tomorrow, 87 on Tuesday, bringing in mostly cloudy conditions on Wednesday and Thursday. The weekend rolls in. We'll be into the 80s and 70s for Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures begin to tumble back a little bit. Jackson, breezy conditions, still looking warm tomorrow with a chance of thunderstorms in the afternoon. More thunderstorms in there for Tuesday and Wednesday with highs in the upper 70s to lower 80s for the middle of this work week. We'll send it back over to Juliana. Thanks, Michael. Coming up, one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish, and one more night left to catch the Dr. Seuss theme musical. We'll tell you more about how the production here 